What is a product security engineer in cybersecurity? In this video, you're going to learn about the product security engineer position in cybersecurity. So you're going to learn about a general overview of the role, like what to expect, different job titles you might see out there for this role. So when you're searching on like LinkedIn, Indeed, Dice, any of these job platforms out there, you could potentially find a job with these different job titles. You're going to learn about some of the common job responsibilities of a product security engineer, the average salary, what to expect. Again, we cover the United States. UK and India in these series of videos and then you learn about different tools that are used as well as do you need certs do you need college education or what do you actually need to get into this type of role so let's just start off with an overview of product security engineer so essentially as a product security engineer you're going to be that person that's responsible for ensuring the security of the company's products so throughout the entire life cycle of the product and this involves things like identifying any potential security risk with that product, any vulnerabilities, uh, whether that's by design or as you are building the product with different teams, if you've identified vulnerabilities there, along with implementing different security controls or measures to help mitigate any of those vulnerabilities that you actually discover. And then, of course, as, all of the, uh, as a part of all of that, you're going to ensure that whatever product is being produced actually is complying with any regulatory standards, any uh, industry best practices, laws, etc. So basically making sure that there's compliance around whatever the product is that you're helping build. So you might see a number of different job titles out there for this role. A product security analyst might be called an architect, could be security engineer and then just with a product focus. Uh, could be application security engineer or app tech engineer for short, product security specialist, consultant, could be secure product development engineer. So just a number of different job titles you might see out there for this particular role. What about job responsibilities? Well, as I mentioned, you'll be involved in conducting different security assessments of the product. That could include things like penetration testing, although um, in most cases, you're going to hand that off to the pen testing team. They'll do that, and then you'll just analyze the results of their pen test. Uh, the other part of that, a huge part of your responsibility is going to be designing or helping to design and also implement different security controls. They're going to help mitigate whatever those security risks that are being identified are, as well as helping to maintain that uh, and develop security standards to, uh, to, uh, to essentially set guidelines around the product design itself, as well as the development of the product. So you'll hear a term out there called DevOps and DevSecOps and, and all these different things with security baked in. And that's really what we're talking about here as one of your key responsibilities, especially these days, is you're going to ensure that this product, which in often cases is a software product, that this is built securely by design. So from the ground up, essentially. So the way it works is you're going to bake in security at each layer in the process, as opposed to the traditional or older way of doing things where software development teams would build something and then say, oops, we need to have the security thing at the end. Let's go ahead and bolt on security. So that's kind of the, the, the shift, as people call it, the shift left, where we're moving security further up the pipeline to where it's in every phase of the pipeline now for the software development. In addition to that, you'll be responsible for training. So training around the product, especially working with different stakeholders and training them on the product, and, and in particular, the sales team, so they can actually sell the product so everybody makes a lot of money. And then also, one of the things not listed here, but you will need to be doing as well, is collaboration with all those different stakeholders, different business units, uh, customers, whether they're internal or external, et cetera. So effective communication skills are one of the key things here for this particular role. Now, what about the salary? You're, gonna, you're obviously going to be doing a lot of work. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a, a role where you will be doing a lot of work. So here in the United States, you can expect usually a, a base salary around uh, just above six figures, so about 110000 to around 150 base. In most cases, now there are always those outliers where you might get less, you might get more depending on where you live. Um, this is usually not a role for entry level, so that's why you do see a six-figure salary starting here in the U.S. because it typically you're going to want at least some kind of IT infrastructure background, whether that's as a sysadmin or network engineering, and or you'll want some kind of cyber background, typically like a SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity engineer, and then you move into this product security engineering type of role. In the UK, on average, around 45,000 to 75,000 pounds. And then in India, around a million to two million Indian rupees. Now, what about tools? What are you actually going to be using uh, as part of this role? Now, I've got a number of things listed here. I want to stress that you may not actually be putting your hands on all of these. 
to do the testing, you may, the, depending on where you work at, these might be things that are done by other teams and you're just analyzing the reports from these different solutions. So as an example, you probably will be using SAST and DAS tools to actually scan the code and the application itself to make sure it's functioning as expected. You're probably not going to use, in most cases, you, you won't be using pen testing tools like Metasploit, Nmap, et cetera. That's going to be the pen testing team, assuming your organization has one or it might be an external consulting firm that your organization has to do that. But in any event, you're going to be analyzing the results of that to identify what are the actual issues with your product or products that you're working on, along with all these other tools that are just used to help identify those vulnerabilities as well. So what about college degrees, certifications, boot camps? Like, do you need any of that stuff? The answer is no. Uh, the majority of people working in product security engineer roles that I know of, the only reason they have certs is because that's something they uh, obtained in other roles first. They didn't go get a cert to get this job. So it's it, like I said, this is not an entry level role. So this, but this is one that you may acquire different certs from other places, maybe as a SOC analyst getting like CompTIA's Security Plus or something, and then you move into this particular role. Once you're in this role, some certs that might be beneficial for your career are things like CPSO, which is Certified Product Security Officer, the Certified Secure Software Lifecycle Professional, or CSSLP. Um, that's another one, especially if you're focusing on software development, which in the majority of cases, your products are going to be around something that you have to code. Uh, CCSP is a cloud focused search, so that's a certified cloud security professional. Um, so assuming what you're building or the company you're working at is building something that f affects the public cloud environments, that would be a good cert to potentially pursue, as would the CCSK, which is a certificate of cloud security knowledge from a place called the Cloud Security Alliance. Um, honestly, if you're looking at cloud related jobs and product security engineering, then you really should look at Cloud Security Alliance and just learn a lot, even if you don't get that uh, certificate that they offer. And then a, a good uh, kind of de facto one to always get to advance your career in cybersecurity is a CISSP. Uh, you do need the five years experience of verifiable experience to actually get that e e designation, but you can take the exam prior to that. It's just you won't actually be, be able to call yourself a CISSP until you've actually obtained that level of experience. The other good news here, besides you don't need certs to get this, to get this uh, job as a product security engineer, you also don't need a college degree. In fact, I'd say out of the people I know working currently as a product security engineer when I'm filming this video, probably 95% of them don't have a college degree. Um, so you don't need that. You do need hard technical skills, though. So this is not a non-technical type of role. You are going to be a very technical person. So again, it's not an entry-level role, but it can be a very beneficial role for your career, a very interesting role, because you will be doing a lot of different things and exposed to a lot of different things. If you like this video, if you found this helpful, be sure to let us know in the comments. If you have career questions at all of how do I get started, how do I do resumes, how do I do job interviews, all those things, um, let us know in the comments. Below in the description, I've got a link to an interview course that I put out that kind of peels back the layer of what you can expect in the vast majority of job interviews and how you can actually impress those hiring managers. In addition, there's a link if you haven't gotten a copy of the international best-selling book that myself, Tia Hopkins, and Chris Fullen wrote called Hack the Cybersecurity Interview, then I highly recommend you check that out. A link will be right below this video. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe because depending on when you're watching this, we will either be pushing out different certification prep courses on the channel or it's already out and you can go look at those playlists out there for a number of different cybersecurity certs because we care about your career.